Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen where we show you how to make delicious family friendly recipes. These cowboy beans are hearty, smoky and packed full of flavour. Whether you're cooking them over an open fire or in your kitchen at home, they're sure to hit the spot. So stick around because we're about to turn some simple ingredients into a pot of pure comfort. So let's get cooking. Heat a large Dutch oven or heavy base pan over a medium heat. And once that's hot, we're going to add a tablespoon of oil. Now add in eight rashes or strips of smoky bacon to the pan and fry for about six to seven minutes, turning once until nice and crisp. Don't worry if your bacon sticks a little bit to the bottom of the pan, that just adds more flavour to the overall dish. Remove that bacon from the pan with a set of tongs and place on a board, leaving that lovely bacon fat behind. Chop the bacon into small pieces. And now that bacon's all chopped up, we're going to put it to one side and then we're going to use that lovely bacon fat that's left in the pan to fry the onions. And if you've never fried onions in bacon fat, you need to try it. They are the best kind of onions. So add a finely diced onion to the pan with the bacon oil and fry for about five to six minutes, stirring often until softened and slightly browned. So as those onions fry, they release moisture and that cleans the pan and picks up those delicious bacony bits and it makes those onions look lovely and dark and taste fantastic. Next in goes two minced cloves of garlic. Give that a good stir together and then we're going to add in 500 grams or 1.1 pounds of minced beef. Turn the heat up to medium high and fry for five to six minutes until browned. Stir it often, breaking up any large chunks of meat as you go and then turn the heat back down to medium once it's cooked. Now we're going to add in 120 ml or half a cup of beef stock, three 400 gram or 14 ounce tins of baked beans in tomato sauce, a 400 gram or 14 ounce tin of kidney beans, that have been drained, a tablespoon of Worcester sauce, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, three tablespoons of barbecue sauce and half a teaspoon of black pepper. Stir it all together and bring to a gentle simmer. We're going to let that simmer for about 10 minutes now, giving it a gentle stir every so often just so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Give the beans a taste and add in one to two tablespoons of dark brown sugar if you'd like the cowboy beans to be a little bit sweeter. Now add in that chopped bacon, I like to reserve a little bit for sprinkling on top later. Give it a stir and cook for a further minute until that bacon is heated through. Then turn off the heat and we're ready to serve. I like to dish this up straight into bowls with some lovely wedges of bread and sprinkle on that reserve bacon as well. I love how simple this one pot meal is to pull together. It's relatively inexpensive and a great way to get a high protein meal into the family. And there we go, delicious, hearty, rustic cowboy beans served with some buttered sourdough. It's perfect autumn comfort food. See you next time.